Hi everybody, this is Matt. This is uh, part three of the Know Your Heart Valve series and we're talking about the tricuspid valve today. The tricuspid valve separates the right atria from the right ventricle. The term tricuspid describes uh, literally the, uh, the nature of the valve. It is tricuspid, which means three cusps. And uh, cusps are like leaflets uh, that form together, and I'll describe it this way. You can imagine my hands and kind of the triangle under my hands is also a leaflet, and it tends to open up in this fashion. Open, close, open, close. And when the right ventricle is pumping blood to the lungs during systole, or the uh, act of pumping of blood to the lungs and to the body, what you have is that the valve is closed and it prevents the backflow of blood to the venous system of the heart. So if that's not working right, then we have difficulties. This can happen when pressures in the lungs are such that it makes it harder for the right ventricle to pump blood to the lungs. Uh, the right ventricle <coughs> can enlarge. And if you think of it this way, if this is the orientation of the leaflets when you have a set volume of blood or a set volume of space in the right ventricle, everything's hunky-dory. But if the right ventricle is having to pump harder because of resistance in the lungs or in the vascular vasculature going to the lungs, then the right ventricle can get bigger. Then what happens? You have this going on. Open, closed. Well, not really closed. It doesn't close. It doesn't close completely anyways. So what happens then? You get blood flowing backwards. And if on my side of my hands is the right atrium, when this only closes this much, then blood is leaking between my fingers back into the right atrium and pressures build going backwards. And you can see this sometimes in grandmother, grandmothers and grandfathers and elderly people and also in people not so old but have a enlarged right side of the heart or right ventricle. And they can have a, a dilatation or an enlargement of the uh, jugular vein, which is right here. So maybe by chance you happen to see this, that is an indication that uh, that person has uh, backwards pressure uh, from the right side of their heart and it could have to do with this dynamic with the tricuspid valve. So I would like at this time to thank the people at the Mayo Clinic uh, textbook of cardiology for the following pictures. These are uh, cross sections of the tricuspid valve and they, they do a very nice job to describe what goes on, how the tricuspid valve looks. If you look at diagram A, you will see TV and TV is the tricuspid valve. In diagram or photograph uh, B, these are again um, pathology cross sections of the heart. You, you'll see the right ventricle there and those very, very fine tissues in the center. Uh, those that is the tricuspid valve. Now, looking here at diagrams or photographs C and D you will see, uh, especially in, in uh, photograph D, RA is the right atrium, RV 
is the right ventricle. And underneath, you'll see these very, very fine um, tissues, uh, really thin as uh, a piece of thread. They are the uh, chordae tendini. The chordae tendini, you can imagine a little bit like bungee cords. And when the right ventricle is emptying into uh, the pulmonary circulation to go to the lungs, it squeezes all the blood out of the right ventricle. And that causes the leaflets uh, to close. Now, when the right ventricle is uh, fully emptied and then the pressures uh, in the right atrium are higher than the right ventricle, the chordae tendini pull the leaflets down as blood flows from the right atria into the right ventricle. And then when the pressures in the right ventricle are greater than they are in the right atria, the leaflets go upward, the uh, chordae tendini stretch, and the tricuspid valve closes. And then the cycle starts all over again with the right ventricle pumping the blood into the pulmonary vasculature and to the lungs. So thank you very much to the Mayo Clinic. Uh, they have wonderful photographs and materials to uh, help describe a lot of these concepts. So that uh, is essentially the, the basics of the tricuspid valve. Plays a very important role in uh, the uh, reception of blood coming back from the body into the right atria. Um, and then the transit of the blood from the right atria to the right ventricle, and from there onward to the lungs to pick up oxygen. And next, uh, and lastly, I just want to introduce uh, a new concept that I have. I have always new ideas, and this is the latest. This is about uh, the research minute. And the research minute is a little introduction to uh, current research uh, regarding the heart. And I would like to say hello to my friends at the Heart Center in Leipzig, Germany. I know uh, best uh, Dr. Hendricks in electrophysiology. This is actually an, an article by Professor Moore, uh, who is the director of uh, cardiac surgery at the Heart Center in Leipzig. And uh, this is a fascinating article about work that they have done uh, in the past decade with minimally invasive uh, repair of the tricuspid valve. And I can only recommend it very highly to those who like to dig into their medical research a little more than uh, what I'm presenting here, okay? So that's it. That is uh, uh, the tricuspid valve. This, this is uh, part three of Know Your Heart Valves, uh, the tricuspid valve, and I'll be back with other presentations in the future. Have a great day.